Hey everyone, so this is an audiobook of biological classification. Since the dawn of civilization, there have been many attempts to classify living organisms. It was done instinctively, not using criteria that were scientific, but born out of a need to use organisms for our own use, for food, shelter, and clothing. Aristotle was earliest to attempt a more scientific basis for classification. He used simple morphological characters to classify plants into trees, shrubs, and herbs. He also divided animals into two groups, those which had red blood and those that did not. In Linnaeus' time, a two-kingdom system of classification with plant and animalia kingdoms was developed that include all plant and animal respectively. The system did not distinguish between the eukaryotes and prokaryotes, unicellular and multicellular organisms, photosynthetic that is called green algae, and non-photosynthetic organisms that is fungi. Classification of organisms into plants and animals was easily done and was easy to understand, but a large number of organisms did not fall into either category. Hence, the two kingdom classification used for a long time was found inadequate. Beside gross morphology, a need was also felt for including other characteristics like cell structure, nature of a wall, mode of nutrition, habitat, method of reproduction, evolutionary relationships, etc. Classification systems for the living organisms have hence undergone several changes over the time. Though plant and animal kingdoms have been a constant under all different systems. The understanding of what groups organisms be included under these kingdoms have been changing. The number and the nature of kingdoms have also been understood differently by different scientists over the time. R. H. Whitaker in 1969 proposed a five kingdom classification. The kingdoms defined by him were named Mandra, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. The main criteria for classification used by him include cell structure, body organization, mode of nutrition, reproduction, and phylogenetic relationships. The three kingdom systems have also been proposed that divides the kingdom Mandra into two domains, leaving the remaining eukaryotic kingdoms in the third domain and thereby a six kingdom classification. We will learn about the systems in detail at higher classes. Let us look at five kingdom classification to understand the issues and considerations that influence the classification system. Earlier, classification systems include bacteria, blue-green algae, fungi, mosses, ferns, gymnosperms and angiosperms under plants. The character that unified this whole kingdom was that all organisms included had a cell wall in their cells. This placed together groups which widely differed in other characteristics. It brought together the prokaryotic bacteria and the blue-green algae, commonly called cyanobacteria, with other groups which were eukaryotic. It also grouped together the unicellular organisms and the multicellular ones. Says, for example, Chlamydomonas and Spirogyra placed together under algae. The classification did not differentiate between heterotrophic group, fungi, and autotrophic green plants, though they also showed a characteristic difference in their wall composition. The fungi had a chitin in their walls, while the green plants had a cellulosic cell wall. When such characteristics were considered, the fungi were placed in a separate kingdom, Kingdom Fungi. All prokaryotic organisms were grouped together under Kingdom Mandra, and unicellular eukaryotic organisms were placed in Kingdom Protesta. Kingdom Protesta has brought together Chlamydomonas, Chlorella, which were early placed in algae within plants and both having cell walls, with Paramecium and Amoeba, which were earlier placed in animal kingdom which lack cell wall. 
it was put together organisms which in early classifications were placed in different kingdoms this happened because the criteria for classification changed this kind of changes will take place in future too depending on improvement in our understanding of characteristics and evolutionary relationships over time an attempt has also been made to evolve a classification systems which reflects not only the morphological physiological and reproductive similarities but is also phylogenetic for example is based on evolutionary relationships in this chapter we will study characteristics of kingdom monera protista and fungi of vertebrate system of classification the kingdom plantae and animalia commonly referred to as plant and animal kingdoms respectively will be dealt separately in chapter 3 and 4 kingdom monera bacteria are the sole member of kingdom monera they are the most abundant microorganisms bacteria occur almost everywhere hundreds of bacteria are present in a handful of a soil they also live in extreme habitats such as hot springs deserts snow and deep sea oceans where very few other life forms can survive many of them live in or on the other organisms as parasites bacteria are grouped into four categories based on their shapes the spherical coccus plurally we call it cocci the rod shaped bacillus plurally we call it bacilli the comma shaped vibrium plurally we call it vibrio and spiral spirulum plurally we call it spirella though the bacterial structure is very simple they are very complex in behavior compared to many other organisms bacteria as a group show the most extensive metabolic diversity some of the bacteria are autotrophic for example they synthesize their own food from inorganic substrates they may be photosynthetic autotrophic or chemosynthetic autotrophic the vast majority of bacteria are heterotrophics for example they depend on other organisms or on a dead organic matter for food archaebacteria these bacteria are special since they live in some of the most harsh habitats such as extreme salty areas we call it halophiles hot springs commonly called thermoacidophiles and marshy areas we call it methanogens archaebacteria differ from other bacteria in having different cell wall structure and this features is responsible for their survival in extreme conditions methanogens are present in the gut of several ruminant animal such as cow and buffalo and they are responsible for production of methane that is called biogas from the dung of these animals tube bacteria there are thousands of different tube bacteria or true bacteria they are characterized by the presence of rigid cell wall and of motile or flagellum the cyanobacteria also referred to as blue green algae have chlorophyll a similar to green plants and are photosynthetic autotrophs the cyanobacteria are unicellular colonial or filamentous freshwater marine or terrestrial algae The colonies are generally surrounded by gelatinous sheet. They often form blooms in polluted water bodies. Some of these organisms can fix atmospheric nitrogen and in specialized cells called heterocysts. For example, nostoc and anabena. Chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria oxidize various inorganic substances such as nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia and use the released energy for the ATP production they play a great role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus iron and sulfur heterotrophic bacteria heterotrophic bacteria are most abundant in nature the majority are important decomposers many of them have a significant impact on human affairs 
They are helpful in making curd from milk, production of antibiotics, fixing nitrogen in legume roots, etc. Some are pathogens causing a damage to human beings, crops, farm, animals and pets. Cholera, typhoid, tetanus, citrus canker are well-known diseases caused by different bacteria. Bacteria reproduce mainly by fission. Sometimes, under unfavorable conditions, they produce spores. They also reproduce by a sort of sexual production by adopting a primitive type of DNA transfer from one bacterium to the other. The mycoplasma are organisms that completely lack a cell wall. They are smallest living cell known and that can survive without oxygen. Many mycoplasma are pathogenic in animals and plants. Kingdom Protesta All single cell eukaryotes are placed under protesta, but the boundaries of the kingdom are not well defined. What may be photosynthetic protestant? To one biologist may be a plant to another. In this book, we include chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoid, slim molds, and protozoans under protesta. Members of protesta are primarily aquatic. This kingdom forms a link with other dealing with plants, animals, and fungi. Being eukaryotes, the protestant cell body contains a well defined nucleus and other membrane bound organelles. Some have flagella or cilia. Protests reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving cell fusion and zygote formation. Chrysophytes This group includes diatoms and golden algae, which is called desmids. They are found in fresh water as well as marine environments. They are microscopic and float passively in water currents. We call it plankton. Most of them are photosynthetic. In diatoms, the cell wall form two thin overlapping shells which fit together as in a soap box. The walls are embedded with silica and thus the walls are indestructible. Thus, the diatoms have left behind large amount of cell wall deposits in their habitat. This accumulation of a billion of years is referred to as diatomaceous earth. Being gritty, the soil is used in polishing, filtration of oils and syrups. Diatoms are the chief producers in oceans. Dinoflagellates These organisms are mostly marine and photosynthetic. They appear yellow, green, brown, blue or red depending on the main pigments present in their cells. The cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on the outer surface. Most of them have two flagella. One lies longitudinally and the other transversely in a furrow between the wall plates. Very often, red dinoflagellates, example, corneolocs undergo such rapid multiplication that they make the sea appear red forms red tides. Toxin released by such large numbers may even kill other marine animals such as fishes. Euglenoids Majority of them are freshwater organisms found in stagnant water. Instead of cell wall, they have a protein-rich layer called pallicle which makes their body flexible. They have two flagella, a short and a long one. Though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight. When deprived of a sunlight, they behave like heterotrophs by predating on other smaller organisms. Interestingly, the pigments of euglenoids are identical to those parents in higher plants. Example, euglena. Slim moles. Slim moles are saprophytic protists. The body moves along decaying twigs and leaves engulfing organic material. Under suitable conditions, they form an aggregation called plasmodium, which may grow and spread over several feet. During unfavorable conditions, the plasmodium differentiates and forms fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tip.
these pores possesses true walls they are extremely resistant and survive for many years even under adverse conditions these pores are dispersed by air currents protozoans all protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasites they are believed to be primitive relative of animals they are four major groups of protozoans first amoeboid protozoans these organisms live in fresh water sea water or moist soils they move and capture their prey by putting out pseudopodia false feet as an amoeba marine form have silica cell on the surface some of them such as ant amoeba are parasites second flagellated protozoans the number of these groups are either free living or parasitic they have flagella the parasitic forms cause diseases such as slipping sickness for example trypanosoma third ciliated protozoans these are aquatic actively moving organisms because of the presence of thousands of cilia they have cavity called gullet that opens to outside of a cell surface the coordinated movement of rows of cilia causes the water laden with food to be stirred into the gullet example paramecium fourth sporozoans this includes diverse organism that have an infectious spores like stage in the life cycle the most notorious is plasmodium under bracket malarial parasites which causes malaria a disease which has a staggering effects on human population kingdom fungi the fungi constitute a unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms they show a great diversity in morphology and habitat you must have seen fungi on a moist bread and rotten fruits the common mushroom you eat and the toadstools are also fungi white spots seen on mustard leaves are due to parasitic fungus some unicellular fungi for example yeast are used to make bread and beer other fungi causes diseases in plants and animals wheat rust paxinia is an important example some are the source of antibiotics for example penicillium fungi are cosmopolitans and occur in air water soil and on animal and plants they prefer to grow in warm and humid places have you ever wondered why we keep food in refrigerator yes it is to prevent food from going bad due to bacterial or fungal infections with the exceptions of yeast which are unicellular fungi are filamentous their bodies consist a long slender thread like structures called hyphae the network of hyphae is known as mycelium some hyphae are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm these are called gonocytic hyphae others have septae or cross wall in their hyphae the cell wall of fungi are composed of chitin and polysaccharides most fungi are heterotrophic and absorb soluble organic matter from dead substrates and hence are called saprophytes those that depend on living plants and animals are called parasites they can also live as symbionts in association with algae as lichens and with roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza reproduction in fungi can take place by vegetative means fragmentation fission and budding a sexual production is by spores called conidia or spongiospores or zoospores and sexual production is by oospores ascospores and basidiospores the various spores are produced in a distinct structure called rooting bodies the sexual cycle involves the following three steps first fusion of protoplasm between two motile or non motile gametes called plasmogamy second fusion of two nuclei called karyogamy third meiosis in zygote resulting 
and haploid spores. When a fungus is produced sexually, two haploid hyphae of a compatible mating types come together and fuse. In some fungi, the fusion of two haploid cells immediately results in diploid cells, 2N. However, in other fungi like ascomycetes and basidomycetes, an intervening dichoritic stage, N plus N for example, two nuclei per cells occurs. Such a condition is called dicaryon and the phase is called dicaryophase of fungus. Later, the parental nuclei fuse and the cell becomes diploid. The fungi form fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs, leading to formation of haploid spores. The morphology of mycelium, mode of spore formation and fruiting bodies form the basis for the division of kingdom into various classes. Phycomycetes Member of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitats and on decaying wood in moist and damp places or as obligate parasites on plants. The mycelium is aseptate and gonocytic. A sexual production takes place by zoospores, which is motile, or by a plonospores, that is non-motile. These spores are endogenously produced in a sporangium. A zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes. These gametes are similar in morphology under bracket isogamous or dissimilar, that is anisogamous or oogamous. Some common examples are mucor, rhizopus, that is the bread mold, and albugo, the parasite fungi on mustard. Ascomacytes, commonly known as a sec fungi. The ascomacytes are mostly multicellular, for example, panicillium or rarely unicellular, for example, yeast. Saccharomyces. They are saprophytic decomposers, parasitic or corpophilus. Corpophilus means growing on dung. Mycelium is branched and septate. The asexual spores are conidia produced exogenously on special mycelium called conidiophores. Conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual spores are called ascospores which are produced endogenously in a sac like ascii, singular ascus. These ascii are arranged in a different types of rooting bodies called ascocarps. For example, R. aspergillus, claviceps, neurospora. Neurospora is used extensively in biochemical and genetic work. Many members like Morels and truffles are edible and considered delicacies. Basidomycetes Commonly known forms of basidomycetes are mushrooms, packet fungi, or puffball. They grow in soil, on logs, and tree stumps, and in living plants' bodies as parasites. For example, rusts and smuts. The mycelium is branched and septate. The asexual spores are generally not found, but vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is common. The sex organs are absent, but plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotypes. The resultant structure is dicaryotic, which ultimately gives rise to basidium. Cardiogamy and meiosis take place in the basidium producing four basidiospores. The basidiospores are exogenously produced on basidium, plurally basidia. The basidia are arranged in fruiting bodies called basidiocarps. Some common members are agaricus, under bracket mushroom, astilago, under bracket smart, Paxenia, rust fungus. Deutromycetes, commonly known as imperfect fungi, because only the asexual or vegetative phase of these fungi are known. When the sexual forms of these fungi were discovered, they were moved into classes they rightly belongs to. It is also possible 
that the asexual and vegetative stage have been given one name under bracket and placed under deuteromycetes and the sexual stage another placed under another class later when the linkages were established the fungi were correctly identified and moved out of deuteromycetes once perfect that is sexual stages of members of deuteromycetes were discovered they were often moved to ascomycetes and basidiomycetes the deuteromycetes were produced only by asexual spores known as conidia the mycelium is separate and branched some members are saprophytes or parasitic while a large number of them are decomposers of lighter and help in mineral cycling some examples are alternaria colito trichum and trichoderma kingdom plantae kingdom plantae includes all eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms commonly called plants a few members are partially heterotrophic such as insectivorous plants or parasites bladewort and venus flytraps are example of insectivorous plants and cascuta is a parasite the plant cell having a eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplast and the cell wall mainly made up of cellulose we will study the eukaryotic cell structure in detail in chapter 8 Plantae includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Life cycle of plants has two distinct phases: the diploid sporophytic and haploid gametophytic. That alternate with each other. The lengths of haploid and diploid phases and whether these phases are free living or dependent on others vary among different groups of in plants. This phenomena is called alternation of generation kingdom animalia. This kingdom is characterized by heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and their cells lack cell walls. They directly or indirectly depend on plants for food. They digest their food in an internal cavity and store food reserves as glycogen or fat. The mode of nutrition is holozoic. by ingestion of food they follow a definite growth pattern and grow into adults that have different shape and size higher forms show elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanisms most of them are capable of locomotion the sexual production is by copulation of a male and female followed by embryological development virus phyroids prions and lichens In the five kingdom classification of Whitaker there is no mention of lichens and some acellular organisms like viruses pyroids and prions these are briefly introduced here all of us who have suffered the ill effects of common cold or flu know what effects viruses can have on us even if we do not associate it with our conditions viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not considered truly living if we understand living as those organisms that have cell structure the viruses are non cellular organisms that are characterized by having an inert crystalline structure outside the living cell once they infect a cell they take over machinery of a host cells to replicate themselves killing the host would you call viruses living or non living virus means venom or poisonous fluid Dmitry Abanovsky in 1892 recognized certain microbes as casual organisms of mosaic disease of tobacco these were found to be smaller than bacteria because they passed through a bacteria proof filters M W Bachernik 1898 demonstrated that the exact of infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and named a new pathogen virus and called a fluid as contagium vivum fluidum under bracket infectious living fluid wm stanley in 1935 showed that viruses could be crystallized and crystals consist largely of proteins 
they are inert outside their specific host cells viruses are obligate parasites in addition to protein viruses also contain genetic material that could be either rna or dna no viruses contains both rna and dna a virus is a nuclear protein and a genetic material is infectious in general viruses that infect plants have single stranded rna and the viruses that infect animals have either single or double stranded rna or double stranded dna bacterial viruses or bacteriophage and the bracket viruses that infect the bacteria are usually double stranded dna viruses the protein coat called capsids made of small subunits called capsomeres protects the nucleic acid these capsomeres are arranged in helical or polyhedral geometric forms viruses cause diseases like mumps smallpox herpes and influenza aids in human is also caused by virus in plants the symptoms can be mosaic formation leaf rolling and curdling yellowing and wing layering dwarfing and stunt growth thyroids in 1971 teo diner discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than virus and caused potato spindle tuber disease it was found to be free rna it lacked the protein coat that is found in viruses hence the name viroid the rna of viroids was a low molecular weight prions in modern medicine certain infectious neurological disease were found to be transmitted by an agent consisting of abnormally folded protein the agent was similar in size to viruses these agents were called prions the most notable disease caused by prions are bovine spongiform encephalopathy commonly called bse commonly called mad cow disease in cattle and its analogous variant cr jacob disease and the bracket cjd in humans lichens lichens are symbiotic association for example mutually useful associations between algae and fungi the algal component is known as phycobiont and the fungal component as mycobiont these are autotrophic and heterotrophic respectively algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb minerals nutrients and water for its partner so close in their association that if one saw a lichen in nature one would never imagine that they had two different organisms within them lichens are very good pollution indicators they do not grow in polluted areas